Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create this abstract symbol using some insane construction methods. Okay, so first step, make sure that you're on the stroke. This is the stroke. Click on the stroke, select the color. I'm going to go with black. Uh, click on the fill and make sure to click on none so you don't have anything on the field click on the stroke again so it's going to be on the top we're going to start start with some circles from here go to the rectangle and long press and select the ellipse tool okay press and hold shift plus alt create a circle i'm going to create it right here so right now the you know the stroke is inside i'm going to go to the stroke profile and change it to align stroke to center i'm going to create a new copy press and hold alt drag it to the right also press shift so you isolate it and put it here where they intersect exactly in the middle now press and hold alt create another circle drag it to the left press and hold shift do it again same way where they intersect i'm gonna select this press and hold shift select the other one right click and group now we're gonna go here where's the you know reflect tool and the rotate tool and you're gonna select the rotate tool what i'm gonna do is um press and hold alt and go here right where is, the, where is this anchor point in the center click and type in minus 60 okay now click on copy and we're gonna do it again control d with the control d you made a new copy or you can go back again to the double click on the rotate tool and type in there you know minus 60 and basically it's gonna bring this result okay from here we're gonna work with this uh, central circle press and hold alt drag it out create a new copy like so and drag it here see that point where they intersect and you're gonna see this beautiful triangle going on here from here I'm gonna go and select the rotate tool again I'm gonna simplify this and what we're gonna do is press and hold odd go to the sander where's the anchor point click again minus 60 click on copy press ctrl d ctrl d until it goes around and around like so we're gonna go and create some nice triangles so select the pen tool which is located right here and check this out we're gonna connect this anchor point here with this one here with this one and connect it so we got a triangle we got a play button right here okay and we're gonna do it again starting from here going to here here and ending here so we got a star going on in here and from here we're gonna create start to create a rectangle right in the middle okay go with the pen tool select the pen tool i also gonna increase the stroke thickness a little so we're gonna see you know the highlights highlighted stroke and i'm gonna start from here where they intersect here and i'm gonna go here and drag it down until you're gonna see this uh, purple or magenta intersection point okay i'm gonna go here see that where they intersect I'm gonna go and connect it here okay now I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and delete the bottom line here press on delete select and delete and from here we're gonna make a reflection so select this and go to the select the reflect tool which is located right there press and hold alt click on this intersection point and also press on horizontal and then click copy as you can see it intersect perfectly here and i'm gonna press the letter p you know select the pen tool basically from from here and you know connect it click on this anchor point where basically this uh unfinished line starts click and connect it here with this one and do the same thing with this anchor point click click now we connect it basically we created a perfect hexagon i'm gonna increase the size i mean the thickness of the stroke even more so we're gonna highlight it a little more from here i'm gonna press the letter r to rotate or you can select the rotate tool press and hold alt go to the center again click and click on minus 60 again click on copy and press ctrl d until it goes round and round and as you can see this way we created this perfect abstract shape using this amazing grid okay from here i'm gonna increase the stroke 
something like this. I'm gonna go to Object, Expand, click OK, add some offset, go to Object, Path, Offset Path. I'm gonna increase the number, I don't know, 13 is good, click OK, select them all. Now select this, the Shape Builder tool, or you can press Shift plus M. And now you can delete some of the unnecessary parts. You're gonna press and hold Alt. So this way I can click, click, and this way it's gonna delete some of the elements. I'm gonna delete these internal ones. Okay, let me see what I did. I'm gonna right click on Group and select the hexagons. I'm gonna delete the rest and they're gonna look something like this. So yeah, mainly this is how you achieve this uh, amazing effect with these, with these interesting grids. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a good one, bye bye.